Hey you guys, are you wondering what the heck is this big commerce stencil thing that everybody keeps talking about? They keep saying you need stencil, you need stencil, blah, blah, blah. But what is it, right? In this video, we're gonna talk about what it is. And before we get started, my name's Cal, I'm a developer, store owner, and I run the e-commerce growth community for store owners just like you and me, free community. I'll have a link below, you can join if you like. Uh, every week I post more videos uh, on e-commerce, so if you find this one helpful, hit the subscribe and uh, hit the bell and you can see you can see and hear more of me if you like. All right, so let's talk about stencil CLI. What is it? Well, <clears throat> stencil when they refer to stencil, it's actually a couple things that they're kind of conglomerating into this uh, simplified term stencil. It's technically a combination of stencil CLI, which is a command line tool. This lets developers like me run a version of your theme on our individual computer that connects to your data in the cloud to let us see what it looks like, the thing that we're working on combined with your real data so that we can develop it, test it, and then push it live when it's tested and ready to go. That's a really nice tool. And I remember before we had this, it was not it was not as pretty doing development because you would have to do things in a way that just tried not to make a mess on a live site while you were doing it. So stencil CLI is a huge, huge benefit to developers and to you as store owners, because it means we're not going to make as big of a mess when we work on your site, which is great. So it's not just stencil CLI though. It's also handlebars JS. And so this is a type of code, a type of JavaScript that is inherent in your theme now this is a templating engine. And it lets us put these little uh, curly brackets whenever we want to access database fields. So let me show you in the code what that looks like. Um, this is a category page, for example. And we have a field right here where it says bracket, bracket, name, bracket, bracket. And that's basically going to output the name of this category onto the page. This is going to output the URL. And so we can access all these database fields just like that. And there's tons of them that we can access. So here's the, here's the thumbnail for this category, for example. And we could do something similar to that when, you know, before Stencil came out, when Blueprint, the prior framework was out, we had simplistic database tags that we could do. But what we couldn't do is something like this, an if statement. And what this says is if this category has products, then do this. Otherwise, do this. So in this situation, what this means right here is if the category has products, then call this component in order to show all the products. And if it doesn't have products, then show this message that says that there's no products in this category. Um, now, this is a pretty simple thing, but there's so much stuff that we can do. If statements, we can say, you know, if a custom field is present, then, you know, output this table or <laughs> whatever. If, you know, if the category name contains this, then, you know, change the page to look like this or or whatever. Man, it is, uh, there's so much stuff that we can do now that there's if statements. And I say now that there's if statements as if it just happened. This was in 2016 when this came out. But if statements and, you know, to be able to like, you know, loop code wise over all of your custom fields and pick out certain ones, very, very advanced stuff compared to the prior framework, which was called Blueprint. So Stencil CLI is huge for us developers, it's huge for you as store owners because we make less mess. Handlebars JS lets us just be more complex in the code. Uh, without and and it lets us do a lot more stuff without putting more JavaScript on the page too. Now JavaScript isn't bad, but having a ton of JavaScript can make your page really slow. So being able to do things in handlebars um, that loads at the time that the page loads, as opposed to doing things with JavaScript, which comes in after the page loads and alters the page, it reduces delay on the page and it reduces uh, extra page load, which is which is great for performance. These are the two big things that, um, you know, were the core components of stencil, uh, of, of what we call stencil. So it's stencil CLI plus handlebars. 
there are a couple other big features that are part of the stencil framework that we didn't have before, namely a, a type of or format of CSS called SCSS, which is uh, SAS plus CSS. So that's, you know, that just refers to how we style things and we can nest styling, which is pretty cool as developers. And I know that's, you know, super tech speak, but it's cool. Let's just say that. Um, it also includes uh, front matter. So this is what we use to say, you know, how many products can show on a page. And we can specify that on a per category basis. And um, we got stencil utils, which is kind of like a API light library that we can use to do some pretty advanced things in your store um, without having to make a whole app for it, which is pretty cool. So that's the stuff that's all part of it. Um, in addition, you have to have Stencil CLI to use the page builder in uh, BigCommerce. So it just wasn't compatible at all with the Blueprint uh, template system. And uh, so hopefully you've learned a little bit about what everyone's talking about when they say Stencil. Is it important to you? I mean, there's still people running Blueprint stores. Your store's not going to fall apart, but... Again, Stencil is faster. There's more things that you can do with it. There's apps that depend on it. And um, it's just a lot better in every way. So I recommend upgrading it if, it if it's at all feasible for you. And I wanted to just kind of shed a light on, on what this thing is, man. Because like everybody just says Stencil because of Stencil and Stencil. And it's like, well, what is this? And then what is Shopify's Liquid? Well, here's a hint. Shopify's Liquid and Stencil are very similar to each other. So, uh, yeah, I'll just say that. All right. If you found this helpful, hit the like button and be sure to join our community of store owners, free community of store owners at e joinecommercegrowth.com. If you guys need a developer for your site or if you're considering moving over to Stencil, you need somebody to help you get there, uh, reach out to us at Epic Design Labs. I'd love to, love to chat with you about your project. I'm always looking for new ways to help you guys out. So whatever questions you have or whatever you're stuck on with big commerce, leave me a comment below and that might be my next video. Thanks so much and I'll see you next time.